Hello everyone, today with Market XLS we're going to talk about the long put synthetic straddle option strategy. Market XLS is one of the top Excel based investment research solution for investors. It makes it easier for you to turn your Excel skills and market knowledge into profit. In this video we'll be learning what a long put synthetic straddle option is, how it works, when to use this strategy, what is the possible range of return, and finally, we will understand how Market XLS can help investors to implement this strategy. So, without any further ado, let's start with the topic. A long put synthetic straddle is used when the trader believes the underlying asset to move significantly higher or lower over the lives of the options contracts. It is a strategy which is used by traders when they're expecting a high volatility period of the underlying asset. A long put synthetic straddle is an option strategy comprised of being long on stock and simultaneously buying two or more lots of the at the money put option. The maximum loss is the amount of premium provided for buying the options, while the maximum profit can be unlimited if the stock moves sharply in either direction. Once implemented, the profit and loss is not affected by the direction in which the market moves. Market XLS offers a template for this strategy. Here's an introduction page and here's the active template. The cells in yellow have to be inputted by the user. So the stock ticker, expiry date and ATM strike price. And the number of stocks and the price at which the trader entered the long position. And finally the number of lots which the trader decides to buy. Some upcoming expiry dates, the current share price and lot size are available for investors reference on the right. For the purpose of this video, we'll be using Microsoft expiry date as 16 April. And we'll be buying two lots of ATM put option at 245 strike price and going long on 100 shares at the same price. A hedge will be created by going long on one stock and simultaneously buying two lots of ATM put option. The net cash flow would always come out as negative since the investor is buying the ATM put option and hence there will be an outflow in the form of premium. In this case the net cash flow is $78 which is the result obtained when we multiply the number of units divided by the lots with the premium paid and the lot size. Market XLS has many templates just like the long put synthetic straddle one that you see here and it refreshes all the data when you click on the refresh all button. Market XLS offers a net payoff table and a net payoff diagram to help the user observe the potential profit or loss at different expiry levels. The user has to enter his inputs of minimum and maximum payoff profile. The table contains the net payoff of strategy at different expiry prices. In the chart, the y-axis is the net payoff of strategy and the x-axis is the range of expiry prices. Maximum loss occurs when markets don't move. Maximum loss occurs at the strike price itself. While maximum profits are unlimited in either direction of the market and they occur when the underlying asset moves in a particular direction. That is all for today. We hope we were able to help you understand how to use Market XLS for the long put synthetic straddle option strategy. If you want to read more about this topic, please visit the Market XLS website, which has hundreds of blogs and templates. If you want to get in contact with us, please book a demo and we'll be happy to help.